the Mauryan Empire, 4th century BCE to 2nd century BCE. The Mauryan Dynasty For the first time in Indian history, by the 4th century BCE, a large empire was built in India under the Mauryas. The Mauryan Empire politically unified a large part of the country. The two main sources of information on the Mauryan period are Indica by Megasthenes and Arthashastra by Chanakya. The rock and pillar edicts of Ashoka provide valuable information as well. Chandragupta Maurya The first king of the Mauryan dynasty was Chandragupta Maurya. In 322 BCE, he overthrew the last Nanda king, Dhananda, and seized the throne of Magadha. Chandragupta Maurya's success was due to his advisor Chanakya or Kautilya, who was a wise Brahman scholar. Chandragupta Maurya freed northwestern India from Greek control. Chandragupta Maurya was an able and ambitious ruler. He built a vast empire stretching from Hindu Kush in the west to Bengal in the east and from the Himalayas in the north to Narmada in the south. Chandragupta Maurya was succeeded by his son Bindusara. During his reign, Bindusara expanded the empire up to Mysore. He was succeeded by his son Ashoka. Ashoka Ashoka ascended the throne in 273 BCE. At that time, a powerful kingdom, Kalinga, was not under Mauryan control. Kalinga controlled the land and sea routes to South India and Southeast Asia. Ashoka attacked Kalinga in 261 BCE and conquered it after a bitter struggle. The Mauryan Empire reached the height of its political power during Ashoka's rule. It stretched from the Hindu Kush in the west to Brahmaputra in the east and from the Himalayas in the north to Mysore in the south. It also included Kabul, Kandhar, Nepal and Kashmir. Kalinga War and its Impact The Kalinga War, however, became a turning point in Ashoka's life. The death and destruction in this war filled him with remorse. Deeply influenced by the Buddhist teachings of peace, non-violence and compassion, Ashoka embraced Buddhism and devoted his life to the welfare of its subjects. Ashoka replaced the policy of Dig Vijaya, conquest of territories, with Dhamma Vijaya, conquest through Dharma. Ashoka's Dhamma Dhamma is derived from the Sanskrit word Dharma, meaning religious duty. The main principles of Dhamma were People should live in peace and harmony. Ahimsa or non-violence and non-injury to all living creatures should be followed by all. People should love one another and respect other religions. Children should obey their elders and the elders should treat the children with understanding. People should be understanding and kind to all people, including servants and slaves. Propagation of Dhamma Ashoka dedicated the rest of his life to spreading the message of Buddha. Ashoka constructed many Buddhist monasteries and stupas throughout the kingdom. Ashoka sent learned scholars to distant lands to spread Buddhism. He sent his son Mahindra and daughter Sanghamitra to Sri Lanka to spread Buddhism. Ashoka organized the third Buddhist council at Pataliputra to discuss ways of propagating Buddhism. Ashokan Edicts Edicts are royal commands or proclamations. They were inscribed on rocks, polished stone pillars and caves. These edicts were composed in Prakrit, which was the language of the people. In the northwest regions, they were written in Greek, Kharushti and Aramaic. Ashokan edicts are a valuable source of information about the Mauryan period. The Mauryan administration The supreme power was held by the king. He was advised by a council of ministers called the Mantri Parishad. 
the empire was divided into provinces. The provinces were divided into nagars or towns and grams or villages. The capital city of the Mauryan Empire was Patadiputra. There was an elaborate spy system which informed the king of the happenings inside and outside the kingdom. The Mauryan kings had a large well-equipped standing army which included infantry, cavalry, chariots and a navy. The Mauryan Art The Mauryan period was an age of cultural brilliance. The artistic achievements of this period can be seen in the numerous stupas, monolithic pillars, caves and sculpted figures of the Ashoka period. Some of the more famous works of art include the stupa at Sanchi and the Sarnath pillar with the lion capital. Some of these symbols have now been adopted by India and can be found on the flag and currency notes. The Mauryan Economy the Mauryan rulers unified the country and brought peace and stability. These favorable conditions promoted the growth of the economy and made the empire rich and prosperous. Agriculture was the main occupation of the Mauryas. Trade and commerce flourished. Overseas trade was carried on it with Sri Lanka, Egypt and Greece. Decline of the Mauryan Empire the death of Ashoka in 232 BCE marked the beginning of the decline of the Mauryan Empire. After Ashoka, his successors were weak and ineffective. The last Mauryan emperor, Brihadrat, was killed by Pushyamitra Sangha, the founder of the Sangha dynasty. This brought an end to the rule of one of the most glorious dynasties in the history of ancient India.